Welcome back once again to Elevate 18 and today we're going to look at a simple but a powerful way to map out your business model. Now this tool on the board here is known widely as the business model canvas and the canvas can be used to design a new business model or map your existing one but also to challenge your current thinking around your business and the way it works. So this is a model we often use at a strategic level with our clients and it's amazing the constructive progress that can be stimulated under this structure of thinking. And so the core assumption of the BMC is that your value proposition should be central to your business model. And so the five boxes on the right hand side here all relate to each other and that's the customer and sales side. And the left hand side is more internal and that's the operational and, and cost side. And these five boxes also relate to each other. So you start right over here with your customer segment or segments and who are your customers? So you need to be as specific as you can here. Who fits into your target market? Who are you creating value for? And then you go straight to value proposition. What is the value that your business is delivering to your customers? And it's absolutely critical to get this part right because your value propositions will determine your ability to attract and to retain your customers. So what are the core problems that you solve for your customers? What is your brand promise? And, and service and quality are not good value propositions. You can do better than that. So you have your customer segments and your value propositions. And what are your channels are to connect the two? And how does your value proposition reach your customer? What are your routes to market, your distribution channels? Wholesale or retail, a uh, reseller, distributor, or perhaps e-commerce? And then we've got customer relationships. So what relationships do you need to have with your customer segments? Who are the people that you touch? And remember, you will likely have more than one in any customer segment. So finally, on this side, we have revenue streams. How do your customers reward your business for the value you provide to them? What are the different revenue models? Sale of goods, obviously the most common, but then are there others? Maybe a hire or a service revenue stream or consulting perhaps. And so you can see how all these segments here uh, work together. Uh, you start with your customers and the value that you provide, uh, the relationships you need to have with these customers and the channels to service them. And then finally, how your customer rewards your business for what you do. So on the other side, uh, these four boxes here also directly relate uh, to your value propositions. So first up, we have key activities. So what are the key activities that your business needs to perform, to create, maintain and deliver your value proposition? So we're not talking general things here like sales or marketing, uh, operations. You need to be specific. 